I'm Maya. Welcome to my kitchen. A few years ago, we decided to plant a vegetable garden outside. We put in some zucchinis and some fresh herbs, and a funny thing happened. Our children, who were sometimes a little bit picky about their vegetables, they got really excited about vegetables. One of the side effects was that we had a lot of extra herbs. And so we had to come up with a way to use all of these extra herbs because it just broke my heart to see them go bad in the refrigerator. So we came up with a very simple chicken recipe where you basically blend up any herbs you have in the garden, rub them into your chicken, let it sit for a few hours, and bake. It's the easiest thing in the world. Let me show you how. Okay, so we're gonna start by basically, I have a small food processor here, and we're gonna start by just cutting up some herbs. I have a bunch of chives here, and this is the easiest way to get them into the food processor. We're just gonna cut them up. It doesn't matter if the pieces are large or small because they're all gonna get kind of ground up together. And then I'm gonna take some fresh parsley, and I'm just gonna use the tops of this parsley. I'm not gonna use the stems. And again, I'm just roughly chopping them. That's probably enough. And I'm gonna put that in to my food processor as well. And then, just to give it a little bit of liquid, I might have to add this in, in rounds, in two rounds, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna pour that in. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a touch of fresh lemon juice. I just squeezed a, a bit of lemon and just to balance off the flavors a bit, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of honey. I know it seems counterintuitive, but the honey is gonna kind of balance the sourness of the lemon. And then we're gonna blend that up and see how it looks. Okay, so now that we have a nice paste, we can add the rest of our parsley a little bit of fresh garlic. I just have two cloves of peeled garlic. It's gonna add such a nice flavor to the chicken. And a little bit of salt. Not too much, because it's for the children. Just about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then we're gonna blend this all up again. And then add our last herb, which is the basil. See how easy this is? Okay, the last thing we're gonna add is the basil. Mm, this smells so good. I just picked it from the garden. And I'm going to basically pop these leaves in whole. And we are almost done with our marinade. Believe it or not, that is it. All we have to do now, remember to remove your rings for this part. We have to just rub this lovely, fresh, fragrant mixture of herbs into our chicken. Just gonna pour it on top. Mm, the smell is so good. Okay, this is the part that it's gonna get messy. There's nothing you can do about that. Just enjoy it. Roll up your sleeves and go for it. So we're just gonna rub this marinade into our chicken. And I'm using some organic chicken thighs and drumsticks. If your children like drumsticks, you can just use the drumsticks, but I'm using half and half, a few drumsticks and a few thighs. Okay. And now all we have to do is stack this chicken in kind of like an oven-proof dish, and you can let this marinate for a few hours or overnight if you have the time. The flavors of those fresh herbs just basically soak into the meat. Okay, all I have to do is get some saran wrap to cover this, and we'll put it in the fridge for a few hours. Our chicken has been marinating in the fridge for a few hours. It's ready now to put in the oven. I'm just gonna take the saran wrap off and put it in the oven uncovered at about 350 degrees until it gets nice and brown on top. Once that's happened, I'm gonna cover it with some foil and put it back in so that it can cook all the way through. 
It takes a while, about half an hour or so, but the best way to know if your chicken is cooked is to just cut into it with a knife and see if it doesn't look pink inside and the juices are nice and clear, then you've got some nicely cooked chicken. Okay, our lemon herb chicken is all done. The whole house smells like fresh herbs and garlic and fresh lemon. And all we have to do now is transfer it onto a plate. I have a few guests coming over tonight, so I'm not gonna serve it out of the same dish that I cooked it in. But even if you transfer it onto a plate like this, it's not a really complicated thing to do. Okay, we're just gonna add some nice yellow lemons for color to our plate. And we are ready for dinner. I would serve this with some nice plain brown rice or some roasted potatoes and a green salad, something like that. I'm Maya, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.